This amazing aircraft belongs to the ultralight category, thus a pilot's license is not necessary to operate it. Jetson 1 stands 3.4 feet tall and weighs 190 pounds. Due to its restricted range, mobility will be a key consideration when purchasing this aircraft. Jetson 1 may be folded to a width of 0.9 meters. Jetson 1 is considered a multi-copter kind of aircraft and is a pretty basic eVTOL configuration. In a normal flying mission, it is very efficient during takeoff, landing and hovering, but lacks cruising efficiency. A greater proportion of an eVTOL's flying duration is spent in cruise flight, hence lift generating wings might significantly enhance this coefficient. Would that make it an aeroplane? In another video, the energy efficiency of the SkyDrive eVTOL aircraft is displayed, demonstrating why eVTOLs are sometimes more efficient than electric road vehicles. The American cars have a range of almost 20 miles for a 200 pound operator and are limited to 62 miles per hour. We do not have these weight or speed restrictions in Canada. Jetson 1 pricing is $92,000 and the home completion kit is delivered 50% assembled. The 2022 production of 12 aircraft is already sold out. However, there are still a few units left for 2023 delivery. Once the corporation establishes production lines and automation to increase output, the price of the airplane will drop significantly. Our target market in the future is the general population, which is why we want these vehicles to be reasonably priced. Perhaps the initial price, like an SUV, was originally targeted. Creating and flying prototypes is quite straightforward compared to developing the manufacturing infrastructure necessary for large production. Which eVTOL project excites you the most? And which of these vehicles would you purchase? Tell us in the comments. The urban air mobility industry is thriving worldwide, not only in the United States and Europe. Given that 2023 will commemorate the 50th anniversary of diplomatic ties between Vietnam and Japan, it seems to be the ideal time for the two nations to commence innovative eVTOL operations in Vietnam. SkyDrive, a Japanese eVTOL manufacturer, and Pacific Group, a Vietnamese renewable energy firm with international funding, have decided to move in this way. First, there is an agreement to pre-order 10 SkyDrive SD-05 aircraft, with an option to purchase an additional 90 for a total of 100 aircraft. In addition, the two will investigate and assess all elements of air taxi operations in collaboration with Vietnam authorities. This historic endeavor will take into account every facet of execution. The Japanese company recently debuted the two-seater SD-05, which is primarily intended for air taxi operations. The previous version, SD-03, earned news for being the world's smallest eVTOL. The second version is larger and more competent. At 62 miles per hour and with 12 motor propellers, the SD-05 has a range of 6 miles on a single charge, making it a short-range aircraft. Once approved, it will be the first product of its sort in Japan. The Alphabet subsidiary wing has showcased a variety of payload carrying drones of various sizes. When designing new delivery drones, one criterion that should always be adhered to is that the weight of the package should be around 25% of the plane's mass. In the meanwhile, 
The new vehicle designs utilize shared sets of avionics, propulsion system components and materials. Drones now have weight limitations, therefore they cannot transport everything. Currently, the biggest cargo a drone can carry is six pounds, preventing businesses from fulfilling huge orders. Wing does not indicate whether it will address this specific issue, but it does state that it will manage large boxes. In August of 2021, the company hit an important drone delivery milestone. It has done 100,000 deliveries due to its popularity in the suburbs of Australia. During the previous year, Wing supplied 10,000 cups of coffee, 1,700 snack packs and 1,200 roast chickens to people in Logan, Australia. Now that it has a wide range of freight carrying drones, it will likely transport a great deal more stuff than before. You will be responsible for piloting this next generation aircraft, however, it will be easier than you would expect. Lyft Aircraft estimates that learning to fly their Hexa eVTOL will take less than an hour, after which you may go on a one-of-a-kind and breathtaking sightseeing excursion. While large-scale air taxi firms like Joby and Archer battle through the arduous FAA certification process seeking to enter the market by 2025, Lyft appears to have discovered a loophole that would allow eVTOLs to enter specific use cases far earlier. The Hexa is a manned multicopter with 18 smaller vertical lift propellers for great redundancy, a small single-seat cabin, and a set of chunky floor on the bottom so that it can land on land or water if necessary. It qualifies as a powered ultralight aircraft under FAA regulations, which means you do not need a pilot's license to fly it, as long as you stay within uncontrolled airspace and uncongested flyover regions. This type of airspace is abundant on Manhattan Island, and the eVTOL is absurdly easy to pilot with a single joystick, with fully automated takeoff and landing handling the riskiest aspects of the venture. After passing a brief skills and knowledge exam, you will be deemed an authorized pilot. You may now schedule a flight whenever you like with a phone app, which also guides you through a pre-flight inspection before you board the plane. A tablet-sized screen will guide you through the remainder of the pre-flight check, conduct a systems check, and propel you to an altitude of 35 feet once you're on board. The following 8 to 15 minutes are yours to do with as you choose, inside the geofenced confines of your flying region, with the aircraft automatically maintaining a safe distance from other aircraft. If the joystick is too cumbersome, you may conduct specific tasks using sliders on the screen, or even voice instructions. The system appears to be meant to keep newbies relatively close to home, with the possibility to unlock faster speeds and longer distances after a few trips. Apparently, the game has begun. Lyft has signed a letter of intent with Charm Aviation, one of the major helicopter tour operators on the East Coast, to establish a new joint venture including the rental of 100 Hexa aircraft for personal pleasure flights. Multiple vertiports will be built in and around the greater New York City region.